We're going to go to present your entire screen because I like to narrate everything. Are we taking any notes? Not with like me talking. Good. Good. I'm going to go put my water on. Be quick. And we're just waiting a few people to grab lunch and come back, and then we'll get into what we're going to do today. Anyone seen Ethan Hansen today? Okay. I think I'm pretty sure he does. We go over this every single week. I know, and you're just there to support me. Thank you. I imagine I'd be on a beach somewhere with no <laughs> with no cares in the world. Wow. Mask up. Mask up. Okay. It is over my nose. No, it's not. It's an icy nostril. Mask up. Mask is on my nose. What else? I care about my health. Hey, if I care about my health, you cover your nose. All right, everyone else stinks. I'm going to go. Not that kind of go. There is Isaac. How do I get rid of this thing? Go, go away. Bring my Christmas tree back. I don't want to close the door. You were afraid, oh, Just go. You were literally halfway there. No, I don't. It's, it's cold out. It's cold in here. I want it to warm. It's warm out there. I want it cold. I don't want it warm in here. I want it cold in there. I'm sweating. I don't know why. Maybe it's because you have a sweatshirt on. Oh, so as far as this week goes, and then next week, and then the week after that, and then potentially the week after that. So basically the week, these next couple weeks leading up to Christmas, we're going to focus entirely on bonds and how atoms actually bond. Some are super simple, and some are super complicated. So there might be some times in the next couple weeks where you get mad at me because you're a little confused. And that's okay. If you get confused, please ask. And I will gladly explain it in a way that you can understand it. Because that's the best part of teaching. I, I, I can't risk I can't risk Roswell to me. So today, Today we're going to, first, I have a short little Google form, a learning check. It is formative, not summative. Six questions, it, or sort of six points. Uh, just kind of refreshing, reviewing, four models of barrels electrons. So that's the first thing you're going to do today. So if you go to week 13, Thursday, Introduction to Ionic Bonds, and you click this Bohr model review, it's going to bring you here where most of it is short answer, type in your answer. It is open note, open resource, whatever you need to help you be successful on this. If you do make a mistake, you can go back and edit your answer. And if you do that, I will give you your points back. It won't take you very long to do this part. Once you're done and you click submit, you're going to go back to Google Classroom, week 13, Thursday, Introduction to Ionic Bonds, and you're going to click on this Chemical Reactions, Ionic Bonds, uh, Note Sheet, Google Doc. There are nine questions on here that you need to answer. They're not very hard. Basically, we're just dipping our toe in the shallow end of the pool right now. Tomorrow, we're going to take a face dive off the deep end of the pool with rocks tied to our feet. Yeah! I swear we learned about rocks. What do you mean? We're not talking about rocks. It's a metaphor. Good. Good. You said face first, but you said to our feet, so... Yeah, 
That's exactly true. You didn't know you, you end up getting a belly flop. The shallow end is the deep end for your home. Can you swim? What? Can you swim? A little bit. That's not good enough. Ah, so there's nine questions here you're going to answer. To answer these questions, I have included this link, Chem Think Ionic Bonds. It's like a slideshow, but it's not, because there are some like virtual things that you can kind of play with to get a better idea of what's happening, happening at an atomic level when it comes to ionic bonds. I don't have you go past slide. Hey, let's just keep it focused. Can I do it? What? Oh, I'll talk about that in a second. I don't have you go past slide 11. The slideshow goes to 27. You do not have to go past slide 11. Uh -huh. If you want to, if you yeah. choose to, that's your choice. But you do not have to. Once you've done those nine questions, nine questions, they're not long. Pretty quick answers. I have the last part here. There's kind of a brief YouTube video. It's, it's seven minutes. You have to watch five minutes of it. Don't watch all seven. Watch five. And just give me a paragraph describing ionic bonds from what the guy in the video was talking about. Which is what five minutes we watch? Sure. One one minute. Minute. In the middle. Whatever. I'm doing one. What if I want to do one? Yeah, but don't try to watch Hold that. Hold on, hold on, almost done. Don't try to watch the intro. No, 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 no. I'll take off the Once you've done this, you've got this Google Doc done, you've got the Google form done, please share this with me or email it to me, whatever. You have to make a copy of this, so share it to me so it's in my email so I can go through and look at it. Write any comments or corrections I need to make or you need to make to your document. Um, if you get a chance, so if you finish both things, there was a teacher survey I posted yesterday. If you did the survey already, great, don't worry about it. If you have not, if you could take just a couple minutes, fill that out for me. And most of it is rate me one through six. It is about me. It is completely confidential. There is a spot for you to write your own personal comment. If you want to say something, um, like say, please just don't say, what was that? What was that? Yeah, don't tell me, don't say you suck and not explain why. If you want to tell me I suck, great. Please give me something I could, I could do to improve to help you better. If you have some criticism of my teaching, I'm not going to be mad. I want to do better. I want to improve. So tell me ways I can do better. Please. Did you ever have to do those surveys when you were a student? No, we didn't get an opportunity to voice our opinion about our teacher and how well or bad it is. Really bad or really good? No. Depends on the teacher. I've had plenty of really bad teachers. I've had plenty of really good ones. Is this Mike? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Your opinion. I don't know. The rest of your time. Listen. Look at me. The rest of your time is yours to work. This is a four mod scheduled class. You are, Once you're done after mod two, you are free to go. If you have your learn anywhere sign and you want to go work in a flex space, you are welcome to do that as well. So please, if you do that, come check back in with me at the end just to make sure that you've got everything or any questions you have. The rest of your time is yours to work. I'll be bouncing around if you need me. I Yes. No. No. Yes, I think so. You'll be in here, Mods. Uh...
Too, if that's your cup of tea, whatever. What? 